Gold's hitting new record highs. Everyone calls it the safest thing on Earth. But what if this shiny metal isn't as untouchable as we think? In 1980, gold hit its first big peak, then crashed nearly 60% in two years. Why? Because when interest rates rose and inflation cooled, people stopped hiding in gold and ran back to income-earning assets. History doesn't always repeat, but it rhymes. Investor Rukir Sharma says today's rally isn't built on strength. It's built on liquidity. Too much cheap money chasing safety. Then came crypto digital gold. It copies gold's best trick, limited supply. But unlike gold, it moves at the speed of code, not cargo ships. Meanwhile, scientists have learned to grow gold atom by atom in labs. Right now it's expensive, yes, but if we can 3D print gold like we print plastic, what happens to scarcity? And then there's space. Asteroids like 16 Psyche may hold trillions worth of gold and platinum. If mining them ever becomes real, one spaceship could crash the entire market. The universe isn't short of gold, only we are. So yes, gold feels eternal. But value isn't in the metal, it's in the myth. And every myth has an expiry date.